in question number 8 what we have to do is we have a curve and we have to find the point of intersection between the two curves so we have question number a we have equation 1 y equals to thrice x plus 20 this is equation 1 and the equation 2 is this one x square plus 6x plus 10 this is equation 2 so we have to solve this so hence we have to find the coordinates of A and B which are the points of intersection so it would be x squared plus 6x plus 10 equals to thrice x plus 20 if you bring everything to this side it will be x squared plus 6x minus thrice x is thrice x minus 10 minus 20 is minus 10 equals to 0 let's do middle term break mm and this would be 5 to the 10 so x square plus 5x minus 2x minus 10 equals to 0 5 minus 2 is plus 3 if you take x common it would be x plus 5 if you take minus 2 common it would be x plus 5 equals to 0 so you can write x plus 5 x minus 2 equals to 0 therefore x equals to minus 5 x equals to 2 now the sum is not done because we have to find the coordinates that means both x and y so when x equals to minus 5 let's put in the easier equation y equals to 3 into minus 5 plus 20 so that means minus 15 plus 20 is 5 so 20 minus 15 is 5 next when x equals to 2 then y equals to 3x x is 2 plus 20 this would be 26 so the coordinates a so a is the negative one it comes first a would be minus 5 comma 5 and b comes next it would be 2 comma 26 so the next question is question number b using calculus find the area of the shaded region so we have to find the area of the shaded region calculus that is integral calculus a little bit of a review when you have to do integration we can find the area using definite integral definite integral is an integral with a limit so if you have a curve like this let me call this equation y of curve and you have a line like this you have y of l and the region is between them so suppose this is the x-axis I'm not drawing the y-axis so this let me call the x-coordinate of this intersection as x1 and the x coordinate of this intersection as x2 and if you find if you want to find the area the area would be integral limit from x1 to x2 subtract the upper and the lower so it would be the upper one is the line so y line minus y curve dx so this is going to be the area if we integrate it on the other hand if the curve was like that so that in the shaded region the curve this time is above and the line this time is below in that case the area would be area would be limit x1 to x2 y curve minus y line dx it all depends on which one is uh, on the above of the shaded region that's how it is determined so let's get back to the sum so here in our picture the line is above and the curve is below and the x coordinate is this is minus 5 and this is 2 minus 5 and 2 so let's to the area so the area is going to be minus 5 to 2 equation of line is above so this would be 3x plus 
plus 20 subtract equation of the curve is below x squared plus 6x plus 10 dx so let's simplify before we start integrating it would be 3x minus minus 6x so it would be minus 3x it would be 20 minus 10 so 20 minus 10 is plus 10 and it would be minus x squared dx so we can write it as from minus 5 to 2 minus x squared minus 3x plus 10 dx so this is how we can write it now let's do the integration third bracket minus x cubed by 3 minus 3 x squared by 2 plus 10 x and we have minus 5 to 2 then we put the values so let's put 2 here so minus 2 cubed by 3 minus 3 by 2 2 squared plus 10 2 so this is the first value minus now let's put minus 5 so minus minus 5 cubed by 3 minus 3 by 2 minus 5 squared plus 10 into minus 5 so this one is going to be minus 8 by 3 this one would be 2 squared is 4 4 by 2 is 2 3 to the 6 and this one would be 20 minus uh, twen 5 cubed is minus 125 minus into minus is plus so this would be 125 by 3 minus 5 squared is 25 25 into 3 is going to be 75 divided by 2 and this is going to be 10 into minus 5 is minus 50 so let's do the rest in the calculator so it would be <coughs> minus minus 8 by 3 and 20 minus 6 is 14 so plus 14 so this would be shift let me see 34 by 3 minus 125 by 3 so 125 by 3 minus 75 by 2 minus 50 and this would be minus 275 by 6 so there is a bracket here minus 275 by 6 minus 275 by 6 so 34 by 3 minus minus plus 275 by 6 so 34 by 3 minus minus plus 275 by 6 and the answer is 343 by 6 343 by 6 that's the area so is there anything else here no use the calculus to find the exact area of the shaded region and this is the exact area now this I think is the last sum so this one is maximum minimum sum so the first question is they have said that we have a region where this is a rectangle and this is a semicircle so from this we know that if this is a rectangle then for this semicircle the diameter is twice x and the radius r is going to be x so that the whole thing is twice x so this information is that what we know now the first information is given that the perimeter of this the perimeter of the whole thing perimeter means whatever is surrounding this thing the bo boundary so the perimeter is 80 so we have we have perimeter equals to 80 so let's add up the boundary this is twice x plus this and this they're both y plus y 
and the last thing this one is half of the circumference of a circle if the circumference of the circle is 2 pi r radius is x here so half of that this gives us the perimeter this is twice x plus y plus y plus half of the length of the circumference if we add this up it would be this 2 and this 2 cancels off this would be 2x plus 2y plus pi x equals to 80 now what do we do with this information uh, we can just keep it this way maybe we'll be using it next time the next time we have to show that the area of this region is what uh, so we know area is area of this rectangle which is length into breadth 2x into y plus area of semicircle half the circle pi r square radius is x squared by 2 so it would be 2xy plus pi x squared by 2 but you have to show this here there is no y so here we have to get rid of this y and where do we get rid of this from the previous example so from the previous example we can write y equals to send this 2 to the other side 80 minus pi x minus 2x and send the 2 downstairs divided by 2 so we can write 2x instead of y we can write 80 minus pi x minus 2x divided by 2 plus pi x squared by 2 so this 2 and this 2 cancels we can multiply it and write 80x minus pi x squared minus 2x squared and we have pi x squared by 2 now 80x now this one pi x squared plus pi x squared by 2 uh, if we take x squared common if, if we take here x squared common from all these three we get pi plus 2 if you take minus common the minus would become plus plus pi by 2 this is what it would happen if you take minus common and if you take x squared common so we can write 80x minus x squared now pi minus pi by 2 this is pi pi minus pi by 2 is 1 minus half which is half so we can write 2 plus pi by 2 an expression is shown so therefore it would be 80x minus 2 plus pi by 2 into x squared so this is how it is done now the next one use calculus to find the turning point stationary point means turning point so let's use calculus so let me write down a here so a equals to 80x minus let me break the bracket now so minus 2x square minus 2x squared minus 2x squared minus pi by 2x squared minus pi by 2x squared let's find the derivative of this so dA by dx is going to be 80 minus 4x minus pi by 2 into 2x this would be 80 minus 4x minus pi x by the question at the turning point dA by dx equals to 0 so 80 minus 4x minus pi x equals to 0 if you write 80 equals to 4x plus pi x then if you write x common it would be 4 plus pi therefore 80 divided by 4 plus pi that's it that's the value of x that's what they asked for next question is we have to prove that it is indeed a maximum value for x so that means second derivative question number C is second derivative so d2a by dx squared is if we differentiate this where is it let's look for it 
x here if we differentiate this 80 would become 0 minus 4x would be minus 4 and minus pi x would be minus pi because pi is a number 3.1 so this would be minus 4 minus pi so we can write this is negative since d2a by dx squared is less than 0 the value is maximum so that's the sum now the final question final question is calculate to the nearest meter square the maximum area so we have to put the value of x in the area back again so let's find the maximum area so number d would be when x equals to uh, the value was 80 by 4 plus pi 80 by 4 plus pi that was the value of x let's put it there for a equals to 80 so it would be 80 by 4 plus pi minus 2 80 by 4 plus pi whole squared minus pi by 2 80 by 4 plus pi whole squared now we need to calculate this now this is a bit difficult to calculate so let's find the value of 80 plus 4 by pi plus first of all so 80 divided by 4 plus pi so that is 11.20198 so instead of that let's put that 11.20198 so it would be 80 times 11.20198 minus 2 into 11.20198 squared let's bring it here minus pi into 11.20198 squared and we have a pi by 2 so by 2 and this value is 448.079 448.079 answer area to the nearest whole number is 448 meters squared so that's the answer